Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today, we have a very special quick review impressions of a knife that I got in through a, an exclusive with Caviezo, Caviezo Knives. They had a collabor collaboration they did with Ray Laconico. And this right here is the Mini Keen which is a cool little knife and it is an S35. You can see the typical Ray Laconico name on the back. It is S35 VN blade steel. And the Mini Keen is kind of like the, the little brother to the, the Keen. This is the Ray Laconico full Keen. Uh, they didn't have a polished blade finish. Now, obviously this is much bigger, much thicker, and uh, you know, obviously a much bigger blade, but I like the Keen a lot, and I thought, man, that little mini Keen sounds good. So this one has you know, plenty of room, it's very robust, really works nicely, nice clip and all that good stuff. And so here's the, here's, is the mini Keen, which is really nice as well. It does fit my hand really well. I, I, have, I have large hands, and so it fits just over my hands, almost too small, but it works, it works, right? Uh, I went and got this because I thought, man, that'd be a kind of a cool little accessory. Uh, um, accessory to that. I do have this beautiful edge, which is done really well, nice and stropped up. So there we go. All right, so let's talk a little bit about, about this. The knife name is the Mini Keen, which is the mini version of the Keen. Um, this does have a captive pivot. This one I don't think is captive. I think it's floating, but this one's captive, which is cool. Uh, the designer is Ray Laconico, as you can see right there, Ray Laconico. And um, it is a, the, the scales here are titanium, and it's a titanium backspacer. This is number 552. Uh, was the number on this one, or was it on the inside? I think the number here was on the inside somewhere, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's not. Well, th there's a number on here, 552. All right, so... It does have a titanium backspacer, milled uh, titanium deep pocket carry clip, which works really well in and out of the pocket. Relatively pretty deep, so it goes about that deep. Doesn't stick out too much. Beautifully dead centered. Um, the tang of the blade is engaged there. Good 70% 70, 70 I would say. Nice and solid. No blade play. No pivot lash. Does go in. Let's listen to the detent. Nice click. Let's listen to that again. Nice click, no detent lash, yeah, in there really well. So there you go. Um, the materials, S35 um, VN blade steel, which is a good budget, not a budget steel, but it's not an expensive super steel, right? So it's a good premium steel. It's not a high-end super steel, but it's definitely a nice steel. Good corrosion resistance, good edge retention, and pretty easy to sharpen up, so that's nice. I do like this uh, kind of a stone washed, I don't know what you want to call this, it almost feels like a coating on there. But it's very much an aggressive stone wash, bead blast, stone wash, I don't know, something like that. But it's smooth. It's not it's not gonna tear up your pockets, so that's kind of cool. All right. Uh, it is a flipper, primarily a flipper, and that's been the main way to deploy it. Flipper does have some nice jimping there. Wish the jimping went all out. It's not too bad because it doesn't really slide off because of the texture. Uh, and also, you do have a bonus flick. You can get in the middle of the blade because it is a full flat grind all the way to the top, so it's pretty easy right here to get in there and do a reverse flick. Now the detent, you clear the detent about right there and then it goes all the way down. And so you just gotta make sure you get that dropped all the way down and you're fine. Works really well left-handed. Um, you can get in there and middle finger reverse flick it as well with that bonus flicking, I consider it. Cause it's really not what people would normally maybe consider, but I like it, it works really well. So that's cool. Uh, all right. Um, we talked about them. It is a frame lock. We talked about that. Tang, the steel bar insert over travel stop. All that stuff is good. Let's get into the weight of this knife here. See how much this guy weighs. Now, it's definitely going to be different than the regular Keen. So the Mini Keen weighs 2.6 ounces. Let's see how we compare that to the regular Keen, which is 4.4 ounces. So almost 1.8 ounces difference. So, you know, definitely a Mini if you will, com compare it to the regular Keen, for sure. All right, let's go ahead and measure the overall length of this one. And just for, for giggles, we're going to kind of compare it to the regular Keen so we can get an idea of what the difference is here. So this one is going to be... Oops, well, it's always hard to read it that way, so let's go this way. It's about six and, three qu six and three quarters inches long, whereas the regular Keen was about just under eight inches. All right, the handle here for grip, it's gonna be about three and a quarter to maybe about three and a quarter to three and a third. Uh, you could sort of choke up on the trigger position just a little bit, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it does fit in the hand nicely, so that's nice. Does work for my meaty 
you know, kind of thick paws, you know, so even if you have extra large hands, you probably aren't going to be as big, thick fingers as mine, all right? So the overall edge going from the tip to the back, we're looking at about two and a quarter to two and two and three, three quarters, maybe two and four fifths, something like that, right? Overall cutting length, if we go from the tip to there, we're about 2.75 inches for cutting length. So there you go. All right, I'm gonna put this over here real quick. Let's do the blade stock thickness. Now we can compare the two. You can definitely see that the, the mini keen is certainly, certainly thinner than the regular keen. So there's definitely a difference right there right away. Oops, dropped my ruler. I'll have to pick that up. I'm gonna finish the video here. All right, so the mini keen's blade stock thickness is 120 thousandths of an inch, so 0.12, whereas the regular one was 100 and 150 thousandths of inch or 0.15. So this one's definitely bigger, definitely more robust, but still this works really, really well. All right, the category, this is a budget. It's just over $100, so it puts it into the regular category. It's definitely under $300, so it's in the low end of the regular category, but a really good buy for what you get. Uh, is it EDC? Absolutely. It's a great small EDC. It can be very clandestine, very... Uh, hidden so whenever you need a knife this would work out really 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 well i like that a lot um but is it hard use i don't know if it's hard use it's pretty small you know hard use for is relative to the knife i mean are you going to be opening a lot of boxes or could you do yeah you could do all that so if that's hard use then sure uh but it are you going to go out and be breaking down boxes with staples in it are you going to be out whacking your knife on things and use a, a, cro, a pry bar no don't do that get, get a fixed blade get an axe get a multi-tool but uh, you can use this pretty well, I think. So I like that idea. Um, is it a collection piece? Well, I don't think so. I don't think it's necessarily a collection piece. But you know what? Maybe the aesthetic of these two knives speak to you and you want to have them as a collection piece. Go for it. You do what you want, right? It's your knives. You collect them away. All right. So let's talk a little bit about... Um, uh, so we talked about blade stock thickness, we talked about if it's a collection piece. Let's talk a little bit about the overall design. The overall design, you know, uh, it's comfortable, it's nice and round, it's a little contoured. You can see the contoured shape on the blade. The, the flipper works really well. The flipper does get you up there for a nice full presentation. It doesn't dig in. That is really nice. You can open that knife up and you get in there, really good access. I do enjoy all of that. Opening and closing works well with the flipper. Right, and the lock bar, once you clear that detent, because like I said, the detent is about right there. Once you clear that, you're good to go. So no double clutch, that's nice. Opening, closing, and closing works really well. I didn't get, there's no skiff washers that fit this. Really, really, really small uh, cage ceramic bearings. So if I could ever find them, I'd love to put them in there and see you know, what, how they work. And so the design, handle, jimping, thumb studs, everything works really well. It's nice and easy, great contoured shape. You can absolutely reverse flick it. Yeah, works really nicely. All that stuff, opening, closing is great. Closes well, you clear the clutch, all that good stuff. Fidget factor, it has a flipper. The flipper works really well. And then there's this beautiful bonus flick. You can absolutely get in there. So for me, that allows this to have a fidget factor of a, a solid four, maybe a 3.75, but it's definitely in the four range. It's not maybe a, you know, way over the four, but it's definitely a four. So yeah, the fidgety goodness for that four, I'm definitely going to call it like 100%. It works really well. This is everything you would want in a flipper. Flips nicely, nice strong detent. You can reverse flick it, which is really nice. Then you can come over here, you can flick it, and then you can actually do the reverse flick over here as well. Oh, as long as you get in the blade. <laughs> but it's a bonus flick, so all that stuff works really, really well. So fidgety goodness, 100%, absolutely. Um, overall thoughts, is it recommended? Yeah, I think this is an overall recommended knife for sure. It is done really, really well. I like it. I like everything about it. I think it complements the regular Keen really well. So I think a lot of people are going to really enjoy that, enjoy the aesthetics. You may not know about it, but it is on the Caviso website where they have several other exclusive and cool knives. But that's where I got this. Really, really cool. So there you go. Uh, I definitely recommend this. It's going to be a recommended regular knife. It's not going to be high end because it's not in that budget. It's not going to be a, a, a budget knife or, or you know knife because it's, it's definitely above that. So it's going to be a recommended knife. I think you will very much enjoy this. All right. Um, Hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, entertaining, or informative, would you please consider hitting the like button? If you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel, allows the channel to grow, allows the channel to do more things, become bigger, and uh, basically do more things for you guys. So thank you. Thank you to you guys. 
And if you haven't already, maybe consider hitting the notification button so you can be notified of future content. And hey, thank you to all my channel subscribers out there. I appreciate you guys very, very much. So just, just know that. A big thank you. Thank you to you all. Um, and, you know, if you haven't already, maybe consider hitting the notification button so you can be notified of future content. I don't know if I shared that with you yet. And then also to all the channel members who are channel members, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys. We're just at 100 channel members, so I'm humbled, I'm grateful, I'm blown away. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you. And if you haven't already, maybe consider coming over and supporting uh, the channel. I would really appreciate that. Uh, there is a link down below for channel membership. Some of you guys may be on the fence. Very low tier to middle tier and a high tier. So you could pay, you know, what is it? $1.99, $2.99, $5, $4.99, and then $9.99. So I would appreciate any channel members that you, subscription you put in. I would be very grateful for that. So thank you. Thank you again. All right. And if you've done all that, maybe, hey, go check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.